If you've been looking for a good Control Warrior list, then I'm glad to say that your patience is finally being rewarded. The new patch gave us some much needed hope for Control Warrior players, so go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel in order to let me know that you are excited about these changes that are coming to Hearthstone soon because Warrior cards are getting buffed. And the reason why I'm starting off the video talking about these cards is because I have two decks coming up that have every single one of these cards in the deck. And the deck is already performing very well at Top Legend, not only for myself, but for fellow gamers Theo and No Hands Gamer. They have cracked the code on Control Warrior, and we will get to this list here in a second. But you guys have to know that Bladestorm is going to two mana as of yesterday's balance patch. These will be coming out on the 22nd. So it'll take a few days for these updates to actually roll out since it will be coming out on August 20th second but you can still play the deck right now and have some pretty good success and then once you play the cards uh, and understand that they're going to be uh, they're going to be buffed then the deck is just going to feel so much better when we get to finally play with these cards on the 22nd so blade storm is going to two mana Stone skin armor is, is being made from a 3 mana 3 4 to a 2 mana 2 2. So this is just a 2 mana draw 2 cards if you have gained armor. And it's really easy for us to gain armor now because Craftsman's Hammer is now just gain armor after you swing with it. And there's a dev comment here that I actually didn't even think about uh, when before my chat let me know about this. But this change means that it will now work to give you extra damage if you played Odin. So you play Odin, have this weapon uh, equipped, and then you attack with it. You will get an additional four uh, attack in the middle of your swing so that way you can deal seven damage when you have this equipped after you've played odin so that's a little cool thing about this weapon being changed in that regard trial by fire is also going to six mana from seven mana and there are ways to discount this card already so you could potentially play this card for five mana that's pretty freaking insane in my opinion and those are the changes for warrior four big changes that are happening and honestly it's all thanks to no hands gamer for giving us uh, an idea of how to play control warrior Year. He ended up making this video the other day, and it's kind of funny that since this video, he's already changed his list, but I'm going to include three different lists here. I'm going to include this list, which uh, is the original list that a lot of people were playing on ladder. Theo ended up making one change to the deck where I think he cut out a two drop for something else, and we'll, we'll get to those changes here in a second. And then Noad's Gamer finally landed on this version of the deck with Speaker Stompers as well as Embers of Strength. Embers of Strength apparently is a really good tool, not only in the early game against like Hunters in case you want to kill like a Costume Stinger, but also as a way to, uh, to stabilize in the mid game by summoning two fours if you've made it to that point in the game but the list that i am going to be playing uh, the, the list that i will be playing in the clips coming up ahead is actually this list right here and instead of running the speakers the speaker stompers sorry getting the hiccups here instead of getting the speaker stompers we have changed to running um steam guardians and weapon expert i think uh there's one e a weapons expert for embers of strength and double steam guardians go for the um the uh, the stomper so that way you can be a little bit favored in the shaman matchup however i have some pretty interesting stats in order to show when it comes to these uh to these decks in particular because the theo build is the deck that i had the most success with by far after 20 games i ended up ending with a 60 percent win rate uh so 12 and 8 with this deck and the only things i was really struggling against were uh druids when they played topior or hunters in general because the hunter matchup is really rough and then there were some rogues that got wind fury against me and i just couldn't deal with the one mech because i didn't have my blade storm so this deck just honestly feels really good as is and it's kind of funny because i want to say that the uh the no hands gamer list is probably the better deck to be playing but the funny thing about this deck in particular is that when i switched to that version of the deck I ended up going, okay, 2-7 and seven, technically. These first two games, I was uh, fighting against my friend being like, do Speaker Stompers actually turn this into a favored matchup? Because that's the whole reason why they're in the deck in order to counter Shaman, right? Well, then I started playing actual Shamans on ladder, and I lost almost every single time. I even lost a game where I played Speaker Stomper, then played Speaker Stomper, and almost set up lethal for my opponent. But Shamans are really hard to kill right now, and Bioluminescence being nerfed to 4 mana is definitely going to help this matchup a ton so this means that warrior stonks are just going to get better and that's something that i'm really excited about with this uh, deck in particular because the only thing this deck feels weak to is uh sif mage only if they run lady in his jar because then you can easily out armor them with like 
I had like 60 armor with this deck the other day, but I had a I had my opponent high roll me pretty hard with Sif Mage to where not only did they have Lady in his jar, but they rolled <laughs> they rolled Terror Reality into Encanter's Flow, so they discounted all the all their spells in deck by one mana, and that was yeah, that that definitely woke me up after that game. Uh, but yeah, Sif Mage with Lady in his Jar or other kind of mana cheat combos is the only thing that can really beat this outside of uh, Nature Shaman as well as a few Hunters. Like, Arcane Hunter is a really difficult matchup, but the thing I love about this deck is that almost every single one of your decisions matter. You can win the game if you make the right decisions or if you are given the right card draws. And that's something that I just absolutely love about Control Warrior is that it always feels like there's a chance until, like, a key, guard, a key card gets played by your opponent. Like, the Lady in his Jar and Sif Mage, for example uh arcane hunter is a fine matchup until the six attack weapon comes down and adds a lot of pressure that sometimes is not something you can really avoid but regardless this control warrior build feels extremely good to me and we are also running naga giants naga giant makes it its way into this deck not just because of the possibility of gaining 20 attack with odin but most of the time because just gaining 20 armor and summoning a zero mana 8 8 with all the spells that you have actually feels pretty freaking good in my experience one thing that I do have to say, and this is coming from both Theo and No Hands Gamer, Odin is the worst card in the deck. And that makes me extremely sad to hear that. And honestly, I can kind of understand this sentiment because there were a few games where it's like, I just tried to jam my Odin in order to, uh, you know, get the armor and get the attack as quickly as possible. But then my opponent ended up like killing me almost exact when I had like armor cards in my hand that I could have technically played to avoid lethal. So it's like the only time that you really want to play Odin is when you're already kind of like winning the game, if you know what I mean. Like there aren't a lot of situations where you're going to play Odin from behind in order to set up an OTK unless you have like... You, you for sure know the Naga Giants on the bottom, and you have, like, a Wind Fury weapon thanks to Ignis, for example, which is a really sick thing to do, by the way. I think one of the clips coming up ahead, I did get the, uh, the armor from Naga Giant for the attack, but it doesn't happen all too frequently, so do not put all of your eggs in that basket of going for the big Odin combo. You really can only play this card when you are Omega safe, and you can afford to essentially skip your turn to get this kind of effect, which, you know... For a legendary, like, with this powerful of an ability, it kind of makes sense for it to, to feel like that, because it's not the way this deck wins. However, it is another win condition, if that makes sense. Your primary win condition is to play for tempo and to maintain armor and control. That's pretty much it. Odin doesn't really help with any of those things, except for, like, ending the game when your opponent is starting to run out of gas. So, don't just go all in on Odin. Do not, do not, do not keep Odin in the mulligan, for the love of God. Please do not keep the Odin in the mulligan. That's pretty much everything that I've been trying to set up for, talking about how bad the card is. Because I see a lot of people keep Odin in the mulligan, and it is just not what you want to do. The cards that you usually want to keep... I would argue are going to be your forge cards uh depending on if you have your ignis or not but bellowing flames is always a good card to keep depending on the situation but looking at the hs replay stats the best cards to keep in most matchups are going to be steam guardian bellowing flames thori balor chorus riff craftsman's hammer shield block mechanome verse riff and ignis lava gorger and this is exactly what i'm talking about odin has like the worst mulligan win rate yet he's got a 32 percent mulligan win rate because people think that keeping an eight mana card in the hopes of just slamming it on turn eight is going to be the way that you win it is not the way that you win drawn win rate odin's very bad apparently played win rate Oh, wow, Odin's actually on top there. <laughs> so there is some merit to playing this card as quickly as you can, but you can't just slam down this card in the hopes of your opponent not hitting hitting you with a bunch of damage because there is a very high possibility that when you play this card, you could just die going into the next turn. So again, just be careful on how you keep those cards. But some other cards that people like to keep are um, Bladestorm, depending on the matchup. You can actually keep this card against like a Mech Rogue, for example, because a lot of Mech Rogues just make the really, really big mech and don't play around the idea of blade storm and top legend that's not the case they they are more likely to hold on to like a one one or something so that way blade storm doesn't just you know essentially solo the matchup but there's a lot of really interesting mulligan keeps with this deck so feel free to reference this if you're learning control warrior but i just wanted to let this be known and actually show with the data that keeping keeping the odin is just not what you want to do and don't forget, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, gaining armor, ranking up, and tanking up, and we'll see you for the next video. Let's, let's see if, um...
<laughs> Wait, Zeddy, Mulligan tip, all the cards are bad, so it doesn't matter what you keep. <laughs> oh my god. How how is Zeddy this good at Hearthstone? He always knows the perfect lines. <laughs> Easy, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Apparently, if you DM Theo, that's the perfect way to DM Zeddy at the same time. Okay, so let me get the right deck list up here. Let me get the right deck list here. So we got Theo Control. Theo Control. You, you, you at least gotta, like, even if you don't like Zeddy as a person, you have to say that his sense of humor is fucking there, okay? I, I, I love Zeddy. I love I love uh, talking with him. He's honestly, like, really nice. Uh, but, oh my god, the dude makes me laugh, and that's not easy. <laughs> okay, wait, we're going up against the Beats now. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Uh, so we definitely don't keep Odin. Probably don't keep the Bridge Riff. I think I just go for, like... I, I don't even know what the fuck it is, man. Like, I don't, what is the mulligan of this deck? It's definitely not that. No, it's definitely not this. <laughs> Oh, Aye, yeah. that is definitely not it. Okay, Ste okay, Steam Guardian has to be an obvious keep. Okay, so we keep Guardian. Wait a minute, there's there's no um there's no uh, uh three mana card from the depths. From the depths isn't in this deck. And we have four. Uh, I I guess you keep the Forge cards, right? You could probably argue to keep the Forge cards. Okay, so we do- this is looking really good, though. Maybe you keep the weapon? Do you ever keep the weapon here? How am I playing someone that's ranked 662 at rank 1? Bro, bullshit matchmaking, that's what. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, the curse automatically triggered this. I mean, I still want to play weapon, though, right? Because it gains armor? I have to kill a minion, but... Must burn them all. Okay, here we go. I guess we just gain a bunch of armor. Can that beat compounding curses though? I feel like that's like the worst matchup we could have queued into. I don't know about the warlock matchup. No, oh, excuse me. From the depths is three mana, yes, but it's not in this deck though. Look. Bellowing Flames, Bladestorm, Chorus Riff, Renathal, Steam Guardian, Armorer, and Weapons Expert. Oh no. Oh no, dude. I posted the from the other side thing, by the way. Oh, how's the video performing? Is it at least performing well? Ooh, Bridge Rift? Bridge Rift actually can make a lot of sense here. But maybe we still wait a turn, so we could just do this, then Bridge Rift into Hero Power Bridge Rift? I think we always do this here. Okay, uh, damn, man. Now I kind of wish I did do this, because then with the, with the curse, I could have done that into this again. It's a five? Okay, that's pretty good. I, I I had I had a ten out of ten today. I was not very happy. I I was not very happy. I guess we just always do this, right? Okay, we got a yog. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I've missed playing some control warrior, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, this is not good. That's 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 not good at all. Okay, um, so I need to shield slam and kill that, which I can actually do. So he's gonna summon three fours with taunt every single turn now. It's all over, the Legion won? I don't think we're, like, dead yet. Like, granted, this, this definitely sucks, don't get me wrong. It tried to push it, but nobody clicked. Wait, what was the percent? Uh... Okay, maybe we do lose these. I just destroyed a, uh, a forge card. That is definitely not what we wanted to see. I might have to yog later, but as of right now... I'm gonna try and fight back for tempo. Even though... Oh, dude, this just doesn't work out. 2.6%? Dude, that is way low. God damn, now it's 6%? Okay, alright, 6% much more in line. I was about to say, like, 2%? 2% of people click the video? That's, that, that, my god, man. 6% sounds a lot more reasonable, though. Like, looking at mine today, like, I was gonna upload two stuff, but then I, I was gonna upload two videos, but then I forgot I had therapy. 
Yeah, dude, how the fuck do I ever win this matchup? I think the answer is never, right? I can't get Ignis value. <sighs> okay, um... Is there a way to finale this and summon two 4-3s? Probably not. Hmm. I mean, I ha I'd have to throw away the Chorus Rift, so I might as well just do this. I need to get a Forge card, dude. I need to play this. I guess Zeddy was right, man. I guess there are no good cards in this deck. <laughs> Three Pyro Yogg. I wonder if that's ever physically happened. I'm, getting, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Oh my god, I'm getting cooked. I'm getting absolutely fucking booty blasted right now, dude. Abyssal Wave. Oy, oy, oy. Wait. I mean, it just it just has to be Yogg, isn't it? I don't know how, I don't know how or why, but let's fucking do it, bro. You can take them away in Finley. I can't kill these, though, is the issue. Like, I'd have to play Astalor, and then Astalor would end up, you know, essentially sep seppuku-ing himself. But I guess I can do this into the Finley. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, that works. Okay, immediately draws the... Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I've got Ignis into Ignis. Is this game winnable now? Is this game, like, actually winnable now? I just really wish I could have gotten, like, the Wind Fury weapon. But now he's at the bottom of the deck. There's no getting that back. Fizzle? Wait, what do we want to... What do we want to fizzle here? We're already winning the game! Right? Anybody? Played double cultist, played one drag below, one wave. This is so much damage, dude. I mean I have to play I have to play the Odin, right? Trial by fire? One two. Th there's there's no way for that to work. If I play Brawl, it's just gonna be the same thing next turn. Burn them all. I could Ignis into Kazgaroth. What is actually the play here? Bladestorm doesn't doesn't do shit. What what, what else were you guys expecting? Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if it's just Brawl into Ignis. Because I don't want to be taking all of this damage. I think it has to be Brawl into Ignis. Okay, the thing about Odin, the thing about Odin is that I am voluntarily taking all of this shit to the face. But at the same time, when else am I gonna play Odin? Fuck it. Fuck it, I, tr I, tr I tried to find a better play. I don't think there's a better play here. I kind of have to take all this damage. 12, uh, 16, 17, wait, no, yeah, it's 16. So I guess this is kind of fine. I really wish I could have put this at the bottom of my deck. Oh my god. Ah. Okay, um... At least I got Yogg here. I think I think we just have to Yogg first, see what the fuck happens. Okay, Cold K. Wait, that gains armor. Okay, hold on. Okay, oh my... That's, that's not... That, dude, that's not fair. Dude, that's not fair. I immediately draw into the curse card. Oh my god. It just has to be Brawl. I mean, there's nothing else I can really do here. Well, I'm gonna be taking six now. Wait, did I win the Brawl? Oh my god, I won the Brawl. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Winnable? Winnable game? Warrior is also too fair of a class. It doesn't deal uh, well against the scam meta. I mean, that's always been the case, though. Warrior's always been and uh, has always been weak to scam. I wouldn't argue that that Warrior has the fairest deck right now. If anything, like 
It's either, it, like, Warrior is either ridiculously good or ridiculously bad. It's never felt quote-unquote fair, in my opinion. Is there a lethal here? Wait, this sticks around? Oh my god. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. Do this. Hero Power Shield Slam. That's five. Conundrum. Wait, this is lethal. Isn't it? Dude, this is lethal. All of you guys owe an apology to Warrior, like, right now. All of you guys owe an, owe, owe an apology to Warrior. Every single one of you guys, you owe, you owe, you owe an apology to Garrosh, okay? You said he was unplayable. You said he was unplayable? <laughs> okay, alright, hold on a minute. That, that's a 100%. Oh, wait a minute, we're going up against Quark? Okay, he might be playing the same rogue list I was playing earlier. I told him about the spice from Fino. Um, I don't think we keep shield block. I don't think we're supposed to keep hammer either. Keep shield block to just draw a card. I think I think I just like the idea of doing this. I don't like keeping the weapon personally. Like against Mech Rogue in particularly, I I, I think I just need to find like the blade storms for example. I see you. Wait, what the fuck? I see you. What? What? What are What are we cooking in the kitchen right now? Because I might have a demand a refund, because I don't know if I enjoy this flavor. I don't want this to just be 40 card jackpot rogue again. I despise curse lock, and yeah, once I uh, once I got you in Twitch, I watch your YouTube mostly. Hey, great to see people coming over from the YouTube channel, dude. Welcome, welcome to the Twitch streams. This is where the the content gets made for YouTube. I've actually got a couple of videos I got down the pipeline. Ancient battle between Ark and Ark, dude. I I love I love how chat is is, is this loves this matchup now. We got Clark versus Quark. Who is Quark? He's my uh, he's my long lost twin, and my my parents already knew the name they were gonna give me, and they were like, wait a minute, oh fuck it, name him Quark then, because we don't because they weren't expecting a second baby. It's literally the the Michael Pykel uh situation. Oh man, I'm, oh Michael, they already had that name figured out, you know? Oh, the, oh, this other one. Oh, fuck it. Just call him Pykel, I guess. The duality of man, Clark versus Quark. Literally the dark side. Think about it, man. Quark rhymes with dark. I can't think of another word that rhymes with dark. Couldn't be couldn't be Clark. Clark doesn't rhyme with dark. Burn them all. Wait. <laughs> Obviously I'm making a dumb joke. Okay, um, what's it actually do here? Dude, I hate editing too. That's why I have someone helping me out with that. I have to do minimal editing now, and I much rather prefer that. Spark and Park. Yeah, there we go, man. Exactly. Welcome to the Clark Park. Don't be swayed by the Quark Dark. Conundrum. Quark is the dark side of Hearthstone. Okay, do I want to give him card draw? That's like the big question here. I think I just want to forge this and just wait. Right? Forge and wait. I could play Ignis, but I feel like it's too soon. I kind of like how much this deck is making me think, though. His snark leaves its mark. <laughs> this was the great thing about being, uh, being a little kid named Clark. Is because- oh, wait, what? He's he's discovering rogue secrets. And there's only so many rogue secrets. Okay, hold on a minute. Um, what are actually the secrets? So it's a double cross, double cross and sticky situation. And he might get, like, a plagiarize, so I got- I kind of have to be on the lookout for that. I guess I just do this, because I don't mind if he gets this card, right? I could also just Bellowing Flames, but where's the fun in that? I kind of want that better for... Why waste two mana? Wait, what do you mean, why waste two mana? Oh, 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 you're asking why I floated the turn? Yeah, because I didn't want to give him card draw. At least not yet. I'm just going to do this. Give me the giant. Weapons expert? I think it's just armor every single time. Ambush. Right into my trap. If it's plagiarized, I don't have to worry too much about it, but... Okay, perjury? Yeah, we don't want to give him the card draw. And we know for a fact that the two secrets from his deck are double cross and sticky situation now. However, playing around these secrets is really going to be annoying. Do I ever just assume my opponent doesn't play counterspell? Because the best possible turn would be trial by fire. Aye. Okay, that's... Acceptable, I guess. 
this is acceptable. I really just want a double bridge rift, though. But that's not going to be good enough here. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this thing's ability. That is so not fair. Okay, well, let's test secrets, I guess. Of course it's counterspell, why wouldn't it be? I could just bellowing flames. Knock this out, hope that it kills these other two. We're kind of chilling right now, right? Like, we can run down his resources. Kill these two. Ah, never lackey. Okay. Do you think esports uh, was still possible if a zombie uh, apocalypse would happen? I mean, dude, esports is already dying without the zombie apocalypse. So after a zombie apocalypse, fuck no. There is there is no more esports if we reach the end of the world. It, it's all it's all over, man. It's all ogre now. But no, esports would definitely fall well, would definitely fall off even harder than it's falling off right now, which makes Clark Hellscream very sad because I believe in Hearthstone esports. But Hearthstone Esports doesn't even believe in Hearthstone Esports, so what am I what am I gonna do? Uh I think I'm fine with giving him the draw now. Yeah, yeah. I could trade this. Fire it here. Or fire it here in the best chance of killing at least two minions. Trial by fire is really awkward, because like it's not that it's bad. One, two, three, four. Wait a minute, it actually could work. You know what? I think it actually is Trial by Fire. Because then I could set up these two cards. Then I have Yogg if I need it. This still isn't triggering the double cross. Is it the rest of your minions or is it just the champions? Okay, yeah, it's just the champions. I'm trying to think if there was a better way of keeping up two minions, but there's not. Z Sports, yeah, there we go. How how do we make esports even more extreme? Just add an X or a or a Z before it. They're no they're no longer esports. They are now exports, and that's automatically going to do wonders for the branding because everyone's going to be like, wait, exports? What is an export? Well, Dad, let me tell you. <laughs> wait a minute. It's oh wait, it's never kidnap, right? Imagine if it was kidnapped so I could technically Odin twice. That'd be so fucking funny. That would be amazingly hysterically funny. Mm, I definitely always play Odin here, though. So it's perjury and sticky situation, then. So I have Bridge Riff into Hero Power. No, it's too awkward, actually. I don't not, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to finale the, the verse riff here. Yo, what's going on, Zagoti? Good to see you here, man. <laughs> We're trying out Control Warrior, and, and it's actually not feeling that bad right now. Theo might have cracked the code on this deck, dude. Feels super good. And I can actually say this is Control Warrior instead of just Odin Warrior. Because you can win games with the control. Oh, Star Power. My 8-8's gone. Whatever will I do? What if that was a freezing trap? Can you imagine? I really want a clip where I get to play Odin twice. But that's never gonna happen in standard, dude. Where you followed. Theo is sub 50 with the deck, you just don't believe. When when you play control warrior, you don't consult the stats. <laughs> you just don't con Wait. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, 10 mana weapon? <laughs> the dream is happening. The dream is happening right here, right now. Not bait and switch, that's good. Dude, I... <laughs> No! No! It's the Theo! It's fine. It's actually fucking fine.
Nani? Absolutely fine. The time has come. They're absolutely fine, dude. They're absolutely fine. Is it vicious? Maybe I should have hit face first in case it was an explosive trap. Okay, it's wandering monster. It's vicious, oh my god. So the minion dies because I've got HP. I love that. I love that interaction, by the way. Alright, bro, have bow on that fucking weapon then! Go ahead, play it! I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I don't care at all. I'm gonna put on my brave face. I have a friend who go back to Hearthstone at Titans Lodge when I told him Theatar started at four mana. You didn't believe me, dude. None. None of us believe it either. Oh my god, no! So for two months, baby, yo, animated Dino getting us back at two hundred, dude. Keeping it two hundred, my friend. Thank you for the support. Welcome back to the horde for two months. Go ahead and spam this chat on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Now's the time. Okay, all, not to mention. Okay, not gonna argue, dude. I, I'm not gonna lie. This fucking concoction value is dumb. I I hate this card still. I still really hate this card because this happens every time. Two spider tanks for zero mana. Uh, and Yogg, we trust. I don't think it's time for Yogg yet. Because we have a really good clear here. Yo, Polinski coming in with the raid. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Do you call your chat skiers? Polinski skiers? You should. That's 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 a name that sells out crowds immediately, man. But it's good to have you here. Thank you for the support, mate. For trying to not go crazy as this rogue finds everything he needs. Summons five, right? Yeah, summons five. So this goes here. Knock this guy out. Knock out the crab. Alright, if he grave diggers, then what can I do? Why not Yogg? It's always Yogg because we have a clear here. You want to Yogg when, like, you need something. Like, you, you, it's your last resort. You don't just Yogg because you can. That is a surefire way for Yogg to ruin everything. Versus if there's no board, and you don't have any outs, then then you play the Yogg. <laughs> you Yogg because you should. <laughs> Chat gaslighting me right now. Okay, hold on a minute. This means my 8 gets to connect. Do we ever just risk it for the biscuit? Oh my god, there's so much armor. That was my weapon that he stole, by the way. A Finley? Amazing. Alright, screw it. Hit him in the face. I believe. Okay, secret. Card draw is better than nothing. Okay, I got a weapon that also kind of works. All that did was draw two cards. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. It doesn't sound like we have a true young believer. <laughs> I only believe in Yogg when he doesn't fuck me over. Wait, hold on. Why didn't I get a secret? Wait a minute. Oh, wait, because I don't have secrets in Warrior, that's why. It discovers secrets from your own class, and I don't have secrets. Don't you dare destroy the 8-8. Eight eight. Okay, good start. Turn the tides! It's got wind Incredible. He drew a Naga, which means that is probably... Oh, uh, yeah, what's going on, Cedo? Dude, if, if he just literally didn't take my weapon, my deck is gone. Good! Good, now I have a chance. Bugged? Known bug? Wait, what's what's the bug? There's no secret to cast. You discover a secret, then cast it. There's 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 no secret. Also, he's about to get Oh, okay. Alright, smart, 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 smart. Uh okay, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need something insane, right? Should cast a hunter secret? No, if you don't have secrets. I mean, should it? It doesn't say cast a hunter secret. It just says cast a secret. If it's a bug, then then I wouldn't know. Okay. Gain some cards. I guess gain some more cards, right? Do you have this in a bigger size? I will not be denied. He's got 10, he's got 13. He's about to gain another 16 life. You still win? How? 
I mean, he does have random cards, but dude, like, he he got Fire of Shinazari. Alright, screw it. I mean, I've got bored, but like... I did Yogg! I waited one turn for Yogg! There's no... Oh my dear fucking god. Really, man? And now he gets to go for another weapon? Yo, Theo! Why don't you run Theotar? <laughs> Clearly it would be the nuts here. Oh my god. This is so not fair, dude. Alright, what's the be- oh my god, this is so not fair. Uh, I would be winning the game if- if this- Why does he play Theo? Why do you play Theo? Fuck it, let's see what happens. Okay, armor, always good. There's no way, right? Oh, there's the giant. I mean, this is still kind of working, though. Why not run Plate Breaker? Isn't that the wild card that gets rid of armor? That's not available in Standard, is it? Is Plate Breaker actually in Standard? Like, what? I mean, aside from Warrior... Yeah, it's not. Okay, yeah. Uh, Ulticon gaslighting me right now. <laughs> I mean, hey, dude, at least these games have been, like, super fucking interesting. Quality Odin turn. Alright. Arcane Bolt. It looks like he's about to die. That swing was kind of massive. <laughs> he got it twice! His deck was so bad that he had to replace it again! I heard they may add a duck in the mini set. I heard, I heard the same thing, Goomba. I heard the exact same thing. As if Warrior wasn't already bad enough, imagine Plate Breaker. Oh my god, dude. I'm actually gonna use my own Yogg. I, I, fi I find your lack of faith disturbing. Oh my god, wait, what did he get? Wind Fury and summon a random 8? Mosher! Oh no. Ooh. 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 Wait. So I I win this, right? It's guaranteed. Yes, it's guaranteed because all I have to do is just this. Oh my god, dude. What a what a friggin' game this was. Wait. Wait, no, this isn't lethal. Wait, yes it is. I'm, I'm fucking tripping, dude. I mean, hey, dude, that's 2 0. That's 100% win rate with Warrior. What, 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 what's good? What's good? This game is totally not about Warrior. No, it totally is, man. Don't, don't, don't kid yourself. 100% Warrior. I'm sorry, 200% Warrior. Going for 300% Warrior. Let's go, dude. Come. Embrace the chaos. Okay, uh, we definitely don't keep Odin, right? No, not in this matchup. I damn near want to keep Kazgaroth, but it's probably a bad idea. I, I okay, so one thing I love to do with Kazgaroth, which is probably, like, the only way to make him good, but, like, you forge on two, play, um, Ignis on four, give yourself a five mana weapon, get Wind Fury, then play Kazgaroth for five plus attack. It's so freaking funny when that works. Okay, I would love to keep Odin, but this card is probably kept way more frequently than he, uh, than he should be. Excited to see how you feel about the Hunter matchup. Feels good in the pleb ranks anyway. Hunter matchup is probably going to be really difficult for this deck, in all honesty. We're going to need a YouTube video about this deck. Oh, dude, one one more win, and we're and we're there. One more win, and the, and the YouTube media uh, video is made. So just like that, Clark is going to struggle to get this last win. <laughs> 
Kaz is good, in my opinion. He's okay. Calling him good is a disservice to how good the other Titans actually are. Like, Golganeth, for example. Golganeth is fucking nuts. That, now, that's a, now, that's what I call good Titan. And now we never win again. <laughs> believe. You gotta believe. Yeah, dude, get, put some rat jams in, in chat. I fucking love this song. Oh, wait a minute. I can just do this and I have Trial by Fire by turn 6. Or maybe it discounts this or now that. Oh man. Don't think I need to be playing the weapon yet. Cataclysmic. You will not come. God damn. Alrighty. Um. See for yourself. It feels a little wrong to be doing this. I'm really hoping that Bladestorm's gonna carry for when they play the Thaddeus, though. Shrek music? Okay, l listen here. Listen here. You're not wrong, but this song was good before Shrek. But I I'll tell you right now. What oh, God, what's his name? Uh, is it, is, it, is it Antonio? Oh, God, who's the voice actor for Puss in Boots? I think it's like, um... Yeah, it's Anton Antonio Banderas. This guy could sing this song very well. <laughs> Live in the vida loca. It's about to go for a big turn here. Alright, so the reason why I'm not summoning anything. If he plays big minion, or if he somehow like does something and then plays these, the uh the blade storm solves the problem. Wow, he's just throwing out cards. Now I'm in like the same situation though. Like I don't want to be playing anything because then. I mean, okay, dude, if we're gonna be honest, Shrek made All-Star. We just chill? I think we chill as well. There's no reason to do anything. But if you want to make that joke, you can make the joke that Shrek made All-Star. Because uh, mostly mostly you just say that because it pisses off of the frontman of, uh, well, the ex-frontman, I should say, of Smash Mouth. Because he hated when people said that. It's like, Shrek made your band popular, and he'd be like, nuh uh. And I would argue, who fucking cares? <laughs> If you're Smash Mouth, you shouldn't be mad because your music is mainstream, dude. What the hell is going on here? He's not doing anything. There's a whole lot of fucking nothing happening. Now that's what I call Hearthstone. I'm not even gonna swing at its face, dude. There's no, there's no point. What, do, what are you scared of, buddy? Let me know. What are you scared of? I think he, I think he wants to play Sagiras. Can I top deck Odin? Oh, Shrek made it better? Nah, no, nah, dude. You can just you can just go on go ahead and say the, the quiet part out loud. The song wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Shrek. Okay, so I think I want a Finley to try and find Odin. Is that crazy? Rick Ricky uh Martin, the cup of life? Must burn them all. Alright, it is it is coming up up next. I wanna go for Odin. But now that I've played the Finley, I've already gone up uh, I've already gone against my uh my game plan. It doesn't look like I found it, though. Oh, wait, Ignis, though, for a 10-mana card? This really isn't that good. I think I gotta go with Adjacent, though. I guess you can never go wrong with more armor. There, there's the boy. There's the boy. One turn too late. Ah, oh, okay, it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Just imagine if I had Wind Fury though. I feel like Sigiras is totally coming out now though. You will not come closer. This is what we waited so long for, bro. How bad is the, is the left side of your hand? If this was the play that you were waiting for me to be on board for. It. God, imagine if Bladestorm was two mana. Two mana Bladestorm to also fit in the Odin all in one turn. This was like the biggest nothing play that I've seen in a minute. Amuse me with your tales of victory. So now we got the Odin on the field. We've unlocked the true warrior game plan. Without looking at, uh, wait. 
Without looking it up, what country is east of Sweden? Bro, I'm not, I don't, I don't even know where Sweden is. Dude, I am dumb American, okay? I, I'm not proud of this, but if you want to bully me, go ahead and bully me, bro. Give me a blank map of the EU and I would be so fucked. I would have no idea. I would have no idea, man. Liberia? Uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take you for your word. I don't know Pakistan. I know I'm wrong, but it's funny that I'm wrong. Oh Jesus Christ. Yes? Good. Awesome. Wait, am I there's no way I'm right. Bully me, bro. Test my geography low. I mean, honestly, though, I'm not. I'm <laughs> not gonna know it. Okay, so brawl into blade storm. Is that enough to win? V one of the. I mean, okay, we just we just gotta do this and see what happens. Old guardian's home country is east of Sweden. I don't know where he's from. Oh, is it Finland? It's actually Finland. Well, this worked out. And they said Blade Storm was a bad card. Don't believe the haters. Don't believe the haters, man. Turns out, still an okay card. I suck at geography. Dude, I mean, so do I, but then again, I was never taught. Blame my education system. I mean, you know what I was taught, though? Hearthstone. Because I actually played Hearthstone in high school. You know, I don't even think I care that much about that. I mean, it sucks to lose the good cards, but I think I'm fine. Asgaroth gone. Intolerable mistake. There is no such thing as those. There are correct plays and there are incorrect plays. And you made an incorrect play, my friend. Every country is to the east of everything. Oh my god! If you just go, just go far enough east. I immediately thought of uh, of old guardian, even though Savits would have been uh, just as valid. But you played him twice today. Oh, I okay. I would I would have known. I I did not know that old guardian was from Finland. But then again, I'm really bad at, at reading into uh, people's accents, and I also try not to assume anything. Oh balls! Oh balls! Oh, dude, stop it! Stop, stop it! Stop it! No! Okay, um... So we got a brawl. A non-taunt has to survive. Oh, wait, but he just gained fucking 12 life! Oh my god. Conundrum. Kinda wish I played the weapon now. Oh my god, a taunt survived. Wait, is that a good thing? That's actually a good thing, right? Yeah, this is fine. Cost three less, right? Yeah, dude, we're fine. It could have been Jam, but I feel like this gets me out of more situations. Plus, it's a fire card that works with Thori. Like, I have to I have to clear everything. I'm fine with taking a little bit of damage. I have no Yav now. There's no undeads left, right? Like, it's just... Yeah, there are no undeads left. Wait, is this lethal? No, it's not lethal. Just think about like like with like Astlor or something. Hmm. Wait, it might be. And you wanted to pick Jam Session. And you wanted to pick Jam Session. Jam Session was the wrong card. Doesn't this deck have more armor gain? What do you mean this deck needs more armor gain? We have Astalor, we have Burst Rift, we have Shield Block, we have uh, the the weapon, we have Ignis Lava Gorger, which can find Naga Giant for 20 armor? 
You have Kazgaroth, you have Yogg, you have all the Rifts working together. Like, what do you mean this deck needs more armor? We're fine, dude. The Masters uh, thing, there will be drops for a skin. Oh, okay, that's that's good. At least they're gonna bump. They're gonna bump up the um. They're gonna bump up the uh the the viewership. My aunt is cool as heck, man. I love people like that. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I I love my aunt too. I I hope I hope you can hear that. She's in her office. She probably couldn't hear that. I'm working a night shirt right now, and I'm glad I have a candy bowl. <laughs> I have four aunts. Um, I have a lot of aunts, a lot of aunts, a lot of, you know, siblings of other siblings. Okay, it's really good that I have this so I can try to stop this before it gets out of control. Just don't- Hey, dude, I love Heath Bars. Alright, I love Toffee. Alright, don't- don't be hating on the Heath Bar. Heath Bars are, mmm, delicious. I- I could eat a king-size Heath Bar and then go for another one. You don't have any uncles? We are- we are all brothers and sisters. There you go, Vasia. My- my brother in Christ. If she gets candy corn, I'm gonna be pissed. Uh, I don't know if she likes candy corn, actually. I can't speak 100% on that. I, okay, I didn't mind candy corn when I was younger, but then I became a sophisticated adult, and now I hate candy corn. It, I, I understand the hate, and the hate is absolutely justified. Let's just do this, right? Like, why do I need to clear all of this? The only way this can get out of control is if he's got SparkBot with prep, but I feel like he just would have done that by now. In fact, here's an idea. Do this on three, this into, um, this on four. Never had it. What is it? You've never had candy corn? <laughs> Consider yourself a blessed individual. Candy corn, first of all, doesn't taste like candy, doesn't taste like corn. It just tastes like Halloween, which sounds good in the moment, but then you realize all of the, all the things that happen on Halloween. And I can tell you right now, you, you don't want to be tasting like Halloween. Candy corn is the nuts. I gotta disagree with you there. No no hate towards people that like candy corn, but I, I no, I can't do it. The opposite of uh, that me who hated licorice as young, and now as a sophisticated adult, I like it. I still don't like licorice. I mean, like, Twizzlers are not licorice. But that's about the closest that I'm gonna get. Got the taunt. Looks like uh, Bellowing Flame still full clears here. Where are all these weird things like Heath Bar and Candy Corn? Okay, a uh, Heath Bar is chocolate-covered toffee. Very simple, right? Candy Corn is an anomaly that not even scientists understand to this day. Let alone the people that actually enjoy Candy Corn. <laughs> Technically, it can be pronounced as ants. It's always ants, bro. I've, I've always said ants. Anyone who says aunt or spells color with a U is just... They're trying to be extra fancy. That's all it is. Oh wait, so they have the um the lab constructor. I don't know anyone who eats black licorice, then you don't know any old people. Because old people love black licorice. Like my grandpa, for example. My grandpa loves black licorice. Don't know why, don't know how, but I mean it's the truth. I guess I'm gonna draw a card instead of gaining armor. Oh come on, man. Ugh, dude, that's not what I wanted. I only enjoy candy corn on Halloween. That's the only time you should enjoy candy corn. So I'm going to stand with you in solidarity, but I cannot eat black li licorice. Like, is there is there like a, a time of the year where people eat black licorice where it's like... I mean, obviously on Halloween, because Halloween makes sense. You know, it's... Wait, what about butterscotch hard candy? That is also good. What about Jägermeister? Yeah, dude, the real candy. <laughs> Uh, that, that's that's the real candy right there. I feel like it always has to be trial by fire, but how exactly do, do these trades happen? One, two, three, four. Oh my god, this is so awkward, but I have to do it because it's just the only clean way of getting rid of everything. Well, clean. Alright, not bad. Can we send Clark to a retirement home yet? He likes all the old- Dude, what is wrong with Butterscotch? Are you kidding me? Butterscotch is great! I've loved Butterscotch since I was a kid. But I don't like black licorice, man. So, like, you gotta, you gotta give me credit where credit is due, man. Do I even care about knocking this out? No, this is the play. We do this. Play weapon, trade here. 
gain that armor. I was I was born. Oh, I should talk like an old man then. Arr. Or maybe I should talk like this. Let me win the game here, Shawnee. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so I can trade into here. Y'all, y'all said that Kazgaroth was bad. All I hear are people that are bad at the game. Would you rather forge or would you rather hero power? Hello? Could could you speak up? I can't hear you. You're not speaking loud enough. This is like the, this is like the cliche old pe uh, old person voice though. Like unless you want me to talk like Sean Connery, then maybe we can uh, organize something like that out. Can I interest you in a smooth margarita? <laughs> that wasn't that good. Oh, you said that it was good. <laughs> Gotta gotta believe in the Kazgaroth, man. You're not just saying that because you got the charge combo with this with this dude. There we go, four one. What the hell, stupid dog? You make me look bad.